Thomas in trouble. It was a busy day for the engines on Sir Topham Hatt's railway. Gordon was taking passengers across the island. He felt magnificent. Henry was delivering logs to the lumber yards. He was right on time. Percy was pleased to be pulling mail cars. James was happily hauling flatbeds of paint. And Salty was carefully shunting wagons of fish at Brendam docks. But Thomas and Emily were at the fitter's yard for repairs. I can't wait to get back to work. I'm taking the school choir to their concert. Emily was ready to go. Goodbye, Thomas, she whistled. Good luck with your final inspection. Thank you, Emily, tooted Thomas. Then James puffed in to deliver his paint. Bust my boiler, he laughed. You've broken down, Thomas. No, I haven't, huffed Thomas. You must have done, snorted James. Otherwise, you wouldn't be at the fitter's yard. What a shame you're not a smart and useful engine like me. That made Thomas cross. Sir Topham Hatt arrived. Thomas, boomed Sir Topham Hatt. Are you ready to take the school choir to their concert? Nearly ready, sir, puffed Thomas excitedly. Nearly ready isn't good enough, said Sir Topham Hatt. Thomas didn't want anyone else to collect the school choir. Carrying children was his favorite job. So Thomas decided he would leave before his final inspection. I'm ready now, sir, he puffed. And Thomas chuffed away to pick up Annie and Clarabel. Thomas was puffing up the line. He began to make strange noises. Annie and Clarabel knew something was wrong. Something's wrong, clackety clong, clackety clong. Something's wrong. But Thomas wasn't listening. The school choir cheered when they saw Thomas. All aboard, chuffed Thomas cheerfully as he clankety clonged into Knapford Station. Who is making that nasty noise, wished Emily. Emily saw it was Thomas. Did you have your final inspection, asked Emily. This made Thomas cross. I'm fine, he huffed, and he steamed away with the choir on board. Thomas rattled even more. Clackety clong, clackety clong. Later, Thomas had to stop at a signal. He was feeling hot and bothered. Toby saw that something was wrong with Thomas. Did you take on enough water at the fitter's yard? This made Thomas even more cross. There's nothing wrong with me. Just then, the signal changed. Thomas puffed away. Thomas was rattling and steaming more and more. Clackety-clong, clackety-clong. Further up the line, Percy was waiting at a crossing. What's happened to you, Thomas? cried Percy. You look puffed out. Bother, steamed Thomas. He didn't like being told there was something wrong with him. There's nothing wrong with me, Percy, Thomas huffed. The barrier opened. Thomas rattled away. Clackety-clong, clackety-clong. Then there was trouble. Thomas began to chuff slower and slower. I need a rest, he gasped. Thomas clackety clonged into a siding. Steam burst from his boiler and black smoke flew from his funnel. With a final clackety clong, Thomas broke down. Thomas felt terrible. The school choir began to sing to pass the time. The children will be late for their concert, Thomas wailed sadly. And it will all be my fault. I've let everyone down. Thomas was upset. Just then, Gordon puffed around the bend. I've broken down, groaned Thomas. 
Sorry, Thomas, steamed Gordon. I'm a guaranteed connection. Now what am I going to do, cried Thomas. He was worried. Then Thomas heard a whistle. It was James. If I ask James for help, he'll laugh at me again. But I don't want the children to miss their concert. So Thomas tooted as loud as he could toot. Stop! Bust my boiler, laughed James. I said you were a broken down little engine. I am, sighed Thomas, so I need your help. Can you take the children to their concert, Thomas whistled. Now James didn't laugh at Thomas. He could see Thomas was in trouble, and he was happy to help his friend. I'll get the children there on time, he wished. Thomas knew he had to get back to be repaired as quickly as possible. Henry was sent to collect Thomas. He soon buffered up and shunted Thomas to the fitter's yard. Before long, Thomas was as good as new. He had even waited for his final inspection. Sir Topham had arrived. You have been very patient, Thomas. I have a special job for you. You are to collect the choir and bring them home again. Thank you, sir, chuffed Thomas. He was delighted. Clangity clong, nothing is wrong, he laughed, and Thomas smiled all the way to the concert.